Getting to Mars is not easy. First, you need a well-designed rocket capable of taking your payload above our atmosphere and then across the tens of millions of kilometres of empty space. You need to be able to protect your payload from the harsh environment it's going to be travelling in. Bright sunlight, extreme cold, radiation and more. And you can't go at any time you want. You can only go during a brief launch window, a few weeks that occurs every two and a bit years. Nonetheless, many missions have now attempted the voyage, beginning all the way back in the 1960s. Though a handful of attempts had been made before it, all of which had failed either to launch or to deploy properly, Mariner 4 was the first to reach Mars in a functioning state. It was designed as a simple flyby mission, intending to fly past the planet at high speed, taking images and scientific data as it went. But in the 1960s, computer technology was relatively young. When the scientists got their first image of Mars, they knew it would take several hours to be processed. Unwilling to wait that long, they went to a nearby craft store, bought a set of pastels and set about painting the first close-up image of Mars literally by numbers. Orbiters and landers made up most of the missions over the next few years and success was rare or short-lived. The first successful lander, Mars 3 from the Soviet Union, lasted less than two minutes on the surface. 1975 brought the Viking missions, a pair of NASA orbiters with landers that successfully operated on the surface for several years. They produced panoramic views of the surface and were able to conduct experiments looking for signs of life without much success. NASA's Pathfinder mission in 1997 was the first to include a rover, Sojourner, enabling scientists to take their experiments beyond the initial landing site for the first time, even if it was only for about 100 metres. It paved the way for some of the most successful missions since then. These included Spirit and Opportunity, twin rovers that were expected to last 90 days each and ended up lasting for six years and 16 years respectively. Opportunity even holds the record for the longest distance covered by an extraterrestrial vehicle at 45 kilometres or a little over a marathon. More recently, Curiosity, a rover the size of a car weighing in at almost a tonne, has spent the last eight years travelling within Gale Crater, a suspected ancient lake bed, and provided substantial evidence that ancient Mars was warm and wet, perhaps even suitable for life. As missions to Mars have gone on, success rates have improved. Launch failures are rare and issues with deployment, such as those that affected the ill-fated ESA Beagle 2 mission, have become less common as well, even as the complexity of these missions have continued.